Yo yo, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new Assetto Corsa video. Today we're racing around Spa Francorchamps, but not a normal one. We're racing around the very first Spa Francorchamps track, I think so. 1934 it says. You can still see Eau Rouge and Radion over there, but that's not where the track goes. So let's see where it actually goes. Oh. I have already done not a few laps because I keep crashing. It is an absolutely insane track. I'm not gonna lie. I need to lower the sound. Alright. Turn one, two, three are done. And on to the long straight we go then. All flat out, although my tires are a little bit cold, so it might not be completely flat out. Like this one should be flat out on whole tires. Absolute insane corner, by the way. Can you imagine in your Formula 1 car from a hundred years ago? Or actually, there was no Formula 1 until the 1950s, but this was a, a track where they raced on before Formula 1 was officially a thing. Can you imagine? Going like 300 kph in your F1 box from 1950. Oh, there's a corner come out. And then going 300 kph. Taking a left hand corner. Obviously they have to slow down. They don't, didn't have any downforce back then. Um, so they didn't understand how all of that worked. But yeah, it, it's crazy. In an aluminium machine box going 300 kph, I think I think they were reaching up to 300 back in the day as well. Um, and then having to take a corner. You're not strapped in aluminium. You're basically a bomb on wheels with how the cars were back then. If you crash, you just caught fire immediately. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, someone's house on the left and on the right here. I think there's a hairpin coming up. That's the furthest I've made. This hairpin. I went straight on into the trees. Um, oh, a little bit bumpy. Modern F1 cars not great with bumps. I think that's one thing the old cars were slightly better at, perhaps. They were much softer, of course. The current ones are very stiff. Because all Formula 1 tracks are just not very bumpy. Even Monaco is very smooth. Uh, compared to like GP de Pau, for example, Pau circuit. We are we absolutely cooking down this straight? I've no idea where we where we are. I remember. I'm not sure if it was last year when I was there, but I remember I saw an old part of the of the track because that was just it's just a street, but it, it, there's a sign there saying, "Oh, this was the GP track or something like a hundred years ago." I've no idea where we're going anymore. I haven't made it this far. Oh, there's a hairpin coming up. I think it was this hairpin actually where, where I was. I'm not sure. I might be no, this is turn one. This is another one. I don't remember. <laughs> the lake on the right. Oh, have I oh. Oh the <laughs> The fit lady is just on the right there next to the track. Alright, so I finally made a lap. Around the nearly hundred year old. Spa Francorchamps track. And here we go then. DRS open. Obviously no DRS zones on a track that are 100 years old. But this should all be flat out. Even the left hander we went through in the, on the opening lap, remember? Uh, this left hander coming up here should be flat out. Oh. It can be flat out. If my front tires were up to temperature, it would have been flat out. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I made a mistake already like five times off camera as well. No ideal. But yeah, this is a very tight corner for a modern F1 car. But let's actually try and do a decent lap, at least. One lap. It's gonna take me a while to learn this track, I'm not gonna lie. Because it's just all flat out and then suddenly there's a hairpin. It's like a death trap corner basically. If you don't know where you're going. Oh, 
Oh, I've done this before. Oh, 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 oh. I've crashed again. Oh my god. It's scary on the sim already. Just driving past houses at 330 kph. On a bumpy road. Bumpy, dusty road. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, that's no idea. We got some extra toe out. As you can see. Oh, car doesn't turn anymore. <laughs> Look at the toe out. I think there's one more corner coming, and that's the new turn one. There we go. The little dip is still there. Or already was back there in, in back in the day. What, what if I what if I drive into the lake? What would happen? Oh, we can't. Ah, oh, that's a scam. I wanted to go diving. All right. I actually need to get a decent lap in now. This is taking way too long. I keep crashing all the time. No, 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 no! We made it. We made it, lads. All flat out, all flat out. Is this flat out? Oh, it is. There we go. Into the new turn one we go. A little bit wide. No! No! Little bit of front wing damage has never hurt anyone. Into turn one we go then. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's just a fence on the outside. <laughs> Honestly, I could take some wing off actually. We can reach up to like 350 or 360 with this uh, with this layout of the track. There's so little corners, and all the corners are basically hairpins, apart from that one. And this one. But this one is basically a hairpin as well. Oh! As I said, current Formula 1 cars don't really like bumps. There we go. Our first lap completed. At 317. 317.5. With a quick little spin. Let's see if we can get into the 3 O's. So under a 310. Or maybe even under the 3 minutes. If I adjust the setup. Should be possible. Alright, lads. Minimum wings. Let's see if we can beat our previous. Lap of a 317.5. And a wheel spin. Inside wheel spinning up. Oh my god. That's scary. It's obviously not flat out anymore with this wing. I lost like two tens there, but that makes sense because it was a full lift now with this setup relative to the previous one. But as you can see, we've already gained it back. I've been reaching three and it's 41. Oh, those bumps are a little scarier now. Every corner we're just losing a lot of pace. But it's worth it, because we're gonna gain it all back. 
on the straights. Here we go again. 340 kph. And we're gonna be a second up. More than a second up by the next braking zone, I reckon. Oh, that's scary. Braking zone coming up. No, don't spin again. There we go. 8.3 seconds up. Oh, I actually need to concentrate hard. I still don't know the track completely. I know that everything should be flat out from here on. But I did not go flat out on my outlap with these wings, I think. So, um, gonna be close for sure. I think this left hander that's coming up here is gonna be close. Oh, it was actually quite doable. There we go. Oh, a little bit of a drift. Red tires are cooking. But it is gonna be a 307.639 on the old Spa Frank Shops. Can I go here? Wait, I can. What is here? What's gonna be up here? Oh, there's. Sup, ladies and gentlemen from the past. Let me in. I wanna go up to Eau Rouge. Uh, that was riding on, actually. Anyway, I think it's time to do some laps against AI. Last to first challenge on a hundred year old Spa Franco Champs. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Last to first challenge against the AI. Somehow I've managed to put Liam Lawson in instead of Danny Ricardo in the car. And I don't know why. And we're missing a driver. I think we're actually missing two drivers because we got three Mercs on track. Whatever. We're gonna race on a 100 year old Formula 1 track or a 100 year old or almost 100 year old Spa Franco Champs. Here we go. We're gonna take it a little bit chill off the line because. AI might be a little bit crazy um, on Assetto. They're obviously not set up perfectly. And that's going to make things perhaps a little bit interesting. Um, racing them wheel to wheel on this 100 year old track. Plus the fact that modern F1 tracks aren't really like bumps like that. We're driving basically a street track on steroids. Um, we are reaching close to 350 kph already without slipstream. Um, AI is really fast through there. I think someone shunted up front. Hey yo, let me through, man. Thank you. But yeah, we got a lot lower now. Cheeky bastard. A lot lower down for us than the AI. So we're not going to be as fast in the corners, but we're going to be a lot faster on the straight as we go into this next right-hander. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, shh! Oh! Hello, my friends. How are we doing up here? Oh, I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. We're back! Um, a little bit of front wing damage. We move! It's okay, it's okay. Uh, what position are we in? P14, you can see in the bottom right, slightly, there's this bar in front of the essentials. But, no ideal, no ideal. But we move on, in our last first challenge. Um, as you can see, power unit not really enjoying those bumps at 350 kph. Because the wrong cars are not quite made for it. But, try and catch the rest of the field. Oh, fuck. oh my... <laughs> my wheel broke! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's broken! Holy... Whoa! 
Um, slight issue, lads. This is why diamond drive wheels are dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's it's a little bit broken. Whereas this is what the other side looks like. Yeah, I think that's that's the video for today. Then I hope you guys enjoyed me driving around a hundred year old Spa Francorchamps, or almost a hundred years, ninety years. It's ninety years actually. Oh, my hands hurt from that as well. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Asset of Course videos or whatever. Make sure to check out my gloss as well on yarnaobmeer.com. And see you guys next time. Ciao.